On today's show, I'm going to discuss the options that a man can have for his hair on his wedding day. Now, if we're just meeting, my name is Elliot Forbes. This channel is dedicated to men's hair, beard, and grooming tips. So if that's something you're interested in, you might want to consider subscribing. Now with the men's grooming world really growing and booming, it's so acceptable for the man to really take care of themselves. Obviously on a wedding day, this is where it comes to the height of it all really. So today I'm going to discuss a few different options for how it should be and more the way that you want it to look and how it wanted to feel rather than the different types of haircuts for that day. Now this is quite an interesting subject. Obviously the longer I'm doing hair, the more clients you have in that are getting married. So it's really quite an interesting one. A lot of guys are never too sure what to have done for the wedding. A lot of them sort of, if they're having a skin fade, they're like, do, do, do I have a skin fade? Should I have it done the day before? Do I have it like a week before? What, 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 what should I do? And then you've got guys thinking, oh, do I grow it out? Should I have it longer? Should I have it? Well, how, how should I have it? You have a lot of people that are just really questioning it. And it, rightly so, it's a massive deal for a lot of guys. What I think when, you have, when you're getting married is those photos that you have are gonna be there, hopefully, for a long time, 40, 50 years. So you want to look at those photos in 40 and 50 years and just look at the photo and think, wow, that was, that was a great day. Look, at my wife looks beautiful, my husband looks beautiful, I look beautiful, we, we look great. What you don't want to be looking at is, fucking hell, what was I doing with that haircut? Where was that? You want it just to be timeless, something very simple that is just something that's gonna take last the ages. A lot of people going at the moment now in 2019, it's very much a, fa a phase to be having skin fades. Now, in my opinion, I think if we look at that in 20 years time and we look at the photos, you're gonna look at that photo and be like, wow that was short that's like you can you can see skin there and i'm not necessarily sure that's really what you want to be doing i think it's skin fades look great and they look fresh and at the moment you you feel great you feel really clean with them but i would lean towards leaving if you were having a skin fade normally i'd probably lean towards maybe having a one fade done the week before so it sits a little softer and then maybe having the neck hairs tidied up a couple of days before i think you want it to look very elegant very just nothing, just, is, oh yeah, haircut, he's had a haircut. You don't want it to look anything. I think you just want to let the whole outfit just fit and melt into one. If you have something that really stands out now, then in 20 years or 30 years time, it's gonna really, really stand out, which is, I don't think that's, that's really what a lot of people want because it's then it's very trend driven. You want it to be something that just is timeless. If you enjoyed that video today, smash that like button and press subscribe down below. If you've got any questions for me at all, all my social media channels are gonna be there on the side and they're all gonna be linked down below. If you wanna book an appointment with myself, that's all on my website, elliot-forbes.com, that's all linked below. Head on over to my channel now where there's more videos all about hair, grooming and beard tips for the modern man. Thank you for watching, much love, Elliot.